My grandma always tells me that eating dessert last is the best thing to do. You never want to eat it first because then you spoil your dinner. And I personally agree with her, but we're breaking all the rules today because we're eating dessert first. That's right, you get to watch the final result of today's shenanigans right now. You don't gotta fish through the video to get the juice. If, if, if you want to be a, a real fan, join the, the real fan club, skip ahead to this time code, and watch the video from there. You dang goobies. Let's get that beat one more time. Take it away, Bobby. <laughs> episode of let's take this and make it into this today we will be starring bobby dick now if you don't know bobby dick go straight to bobby dick he explains it very well now he doesn't explain it very well what am i saying oh yeah okay i'm a fan of bobby duke arts i just started watching his videos probably a month ago and they are choice a usda certified organic beautiful pieces of content i like his videos they're very nice he's he does a great job making things and he makes it fun to make things and you know what i like making things and he's just a dang goobus just like us over here so i watch his videos but Bobby blew my mind the other day because I was watching his video and he just whipped out a beat like out of nowhere. He was just like, all right, y'all. So today we're going to be making a wooden knife. And then before I knew it, he opened the jar of sauce and poured it completely on the table. And I mean, there was sauce everywhere. It was on my lap. I got it in my face. Don't worry, folks. Luckily, I had a ladle on hand. But let me just let me just let you see the video for yourself and determine how saucy it really was. So you can see why this was so awesome. I don't have Tourette's, I swear. Really, this was, this was, this, this was immediately after I had made that Odd Ones Out video. And I was like, what? This is just an invitation to make some music. And he already made it sound awesome. You can, you can, if you listen closely, he already made the beat. He added a bass, he added the bass drum. And I mean, come on. So, where am I going with this? I wanted to take that and run with it. And and we're going to run with it right now. And he, here we go. This first beat, I wanted to spread out the beat and re really make it a half time. Using all of the voices he gave me, his bass drum, his hi-hat, his snare. And I just came up with this. So that was that, um, but I totally just, just scrapped that because it wasn't that good. After making it, I really wasn't feeling the halftime beat, so I wanted to go back to the original Bobby beat as played here. <laughs> Let's get some chords in here. All right, so here are the chords I was thinking of. Um, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and also this one. Very nice. Okay, so now we gotta add some uh, something else. And that something else is some suspense. I want something to really lead it up into a drop, into a big climax. So I'm gonna add some of this. And also some of this. So basically what we got so far. I don't know 
about you, but that is just, mm. I don't know what I'm saying. It, it needs a, just a impact, you know? Not necessarily a drop, like a dubstep drop, but it needs a, a, something good. So I was thinking like something like this. Mm, thank you very much. It's very good. I'm doing this all on my computer laptop keyboard, so it's uh, it's pretty hard, you know. I think you should appreciate it. So now that we have this, the spice, we need some layers. I think they're gonna sound something like this. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so the last thing we need is just we need a we need a really good beat. If you want to tap your feet, you're gonna need a good beat. I think it's perfect. Time for the finale. Let's get that beat one more time. Take it away, Bobby. 